Hi, career seekers and career professionals. I'm Renee, the career coach, and as a recruiter and an HR professional for several years, I am now sharing all the tips with you so that you can have an overall successful career. So if you like content like this, consider subscribing. Do you feel like you have been overworked and overrun time and time again? and you honestly feel like throwing in the towel because you lack motivation and you lack drive, well, then you're in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna be going over six ways that you can avoid burnout and ways that you can gain control if you feel like you've already started to experience burnout. Burnout has a negative effect on all areas of our lives. It affects our performance and our attitude, but know that burnout is not forever. It is just temporary exhaustion. You're not gonna be drowning forever, and believe it or not, it's actually easier than you may think to get out of feeling this way. Tip number one to avoiding burnout is get more sleep. Make sure to prioritize this. Getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night can make a world of difference. You're going to have more energy. You're going to feel like you can accomplish more. You're gonna have a better outlook and a better attitude on things. And your overall health is going to be positively affected by getting more sleep. Think about when you go on vacation and you come back to work and it feels like you've hit the reset button. You have more motivation. You are able to jump into things and have a new outlook. Honestly, you don't have to wait for a vacation to feel this way. Getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night can help you feel that rejuvenation and help you feel like you're hitting the reset button. You may be in a situation where you feel like you're lucky if you get five to six hours of sleep every night because your workload is so crazy. But honestly, prioritizing your sleep will make a world of difference for you. Tip number two, invest in yourself. Just like getting a good night's sleep every night, make sure that you are doing something that you love. Take one evening after work and prioritize you. Do something that you enjoy, whether that is watching your favorite show, eating your favorite treat, going out with friends, or maybe going to the gym. You need to remember that this is your life and you're in charge. So take a moment to step away from everything else and do something that will be good for you, that you'll truly enjoy. Tip number three, disconnect. There are so many distractions out there so many different opinions and so many different voices and getting caught up in all of it can be very exhausting. Make sure to unplug, whether that is just for a few hours a day, a few days a week, or maybe even a whole week. Doing this will really help clear your mind and help you refocus on the things that are most important. When it comes to your specific work, make sure that you take at least one day off a week. Also, make sure that at night you're disconnecting. It can be really hard working from home and having access to your work 24 seven, but you really need to create a schedule and create boundaries for yourself so that you're not constantly getting pulled into work and you're able to focus on other areas of your life and have that reset each day. Tip number four, say no. If you're on the verge of a burnout, you need to say no to taking on more, especially if you're well-established in your career. I get if you're new in your career and you're trying to create more opportunities for yourself, you wanna say yes more to create those opportunities. But if you're in the situation where you feel like you have reached your limits, say no. Focus on what is already on your plate and don't feel bad by saying no to things. Over committing yourself and saying yes to too many things and overwhelming your plate will just cause you stress and eventual burnout. Tip number five, schedule out your days. 
Help your brain out by being more organized. Schedule out the times that you are checking your email or working on a certain project. Really structuring your time like this will help you feel much more organized and feel like you have things a little bit more under control. And tip number six, ask for help. If you're struggling, do not be afraid to reach out. This is not a sign of weakness. This is a sign that you are in tune with yourself, you know your limits, and you know your needs. At work, don't be afraid to delegate certain projects or ask for help on certain things. At home, ask your family or your spouse for help. Have them take on certain tasks so that you're not feeling burnt out. The people that truly care for you will not feel burdened by helping you out. You can do this. You can gain that control back in your life and you can feel that calmness and that peace in your life again. You don't have to feel like you're running on empty day in and day out. Following these little steps and ultimately prioritizing you and your needs will help you gain that control in your life again and you won't feel like you're on the verge of a burnout. You've got this. Make sure that if this video was helpful for you, that you subscribe and like this video. I really appreciate you being here and watching my videos. And of course, I will see you in the next video.